Hey guys, welcome back to another video on audio streaming. And uh, today's video, we're going to do a uh, quick walkthrough on Centovacast Auto DJ Stream. We're going to do a, a little basic setup walkthrough for you guys. Um, I had a couple of requests on how to set up a uh, quick auto DJ stream. And uh, so we're going to do a quick walkthrough on uh, getting you uh, a brand new stream set up. Upload some music, get a playlist going, and uh, get you get your stream going and broadcasting live from from start to finish. So uh, you get yourself uh, signed into your account. You log into the uh, URL. You plug in your username and password, of course, and uh, that will get you get yourself to the login stream. You plug in your username, plug in your password and you of course log in this is your main control panel for a, a centovacast and on the left hand side is all of your basic controls uh, your, your basic control panel okay and uh, today we're going to focus on setting up your uh, auto dj um, we'll set up a DJ account as well for those of you that are going to do some broadcasting. So to begin with, your auto DJ section here, we're going to uh, begin with uploading some files. So click on the word files. Now all your files are going to be located in the media folder. And for ease of use, you, uh, I like to just uh, make a folder. And uh, in this case, we'll, uh, we'll call it Music One. Hit Create, and there we'll double click on it to open that folder. Now everything we upload will go into the folder we just created called Music One. So you click on Upload. Select, select files. And you want to navigate to wherever you keep your music on your hard drive. You can select one or as many as you want. Grab a few. And they'll immediately start uploading. As they go, you've got a file progress bar that will show one at a time as well as overall progress. And then as they upload, you'll see they'll disappear off the list one by one. They'll go along. For those of you that do prefer to use services like FileZilla and FTP, uh, Centova does support uh, FTP and uh, you can use your login, the same login you used to log in to your, uh, your website. Um, you can use those same credentials with a, a, a FTP program and upload files that way as well. And they'll automatically go into your media folder. So uh, for those of you that uh, prefer to use FTP, you can do that. Once the files are up, there they all are. Okay, so click return in the lower left-hand corner. You're back to control panel. Now your files are up, but yeah, Centova doesn't know what to do with them yet. So we're going to click on the media folder, or the media button, sorry. And under options, you want to click on Browse by Folder and you'll see your music folder. Okay, double click on that and you'll see all your all your songs there. Okay, so highlight them all. All right, and then click and drag them over to the standard rotation playlist. You'll see it turn green and you let go and then drop them. Now, if you look at the time there, you'll see now you've got 15 minutes and some odd seconds worth of music that you've uploaded that are in that playlist. 
the heavy rotation, light rotation, and standard rotation. Those are three different playlists. Two of them show zero standard rotation. That playlist shows 15 minutes of music. So you click return to go back to your control panel. Now you've got music in your playlist. Click start. And now you've started your stream and it's playing music. You've now uploaded music. You get music on the server. You've assigned it to a playlist and now your auto DJ is up and running. Now you can check this. You can click on quick links up here in the upper left hand upper left, upper left hand corner. I'm sorry. And on quick links, there are like a couple of different pages that you can click on. But uh, if you click on your uh, streaming server page, you'll see. You just go ahead and click play. And you'll hear your music playing. And you see your stream is up. And you hear music. So pretty quick and easy and simple to do. Obviously, uploading music takes a little bit of time. We did four songs. Um, you can do much more than that, depending on the storage space you have available. But by clicking back on Overview, that gives you back to your control panel. It gives you a quick overview of what's happening on your server. It shows that your server is up and running, Auto DJ is running, everything's up and running and operational. You've got one listening, one listener that's you on the page that we were just listening to. Now, as I mentioned, when you upload your music, all you're doing is storing the music on the server. Your playlist tells the server what to do with the music. These are your different playlists. And it tells the server, the auto DJ, what to do with that music. There's some sample playlists already made for you. Or you can put you can create your own playlist whether to play commercials and jingles or specific scheduled playlists so let's make one just for for an example today so click create playlist you'll get a new window And over here, you can tell you can tell what kind of playlist you want to make. So what we're going to do here for this one is we're going to make a scheduled playlist. And what I want to do is I want to play this this playlist. I want to play every day. at 8 o'clock p.m. And I want to play all the songs in this playlist randomly. Just shuffle them up, play them random. And I want to play this playlist for 120 minutes for two hours at 8 o'clock daily. And it's just going to be two hours of love songs. 
Okay, two hours of romance. So every night at eight o'clock, we're gonna play two hours of romance. So we'll save it. That'll be our playlist. So our normal music is playing all day, 24 hours a day, but at eight o'clock for two hours, we're gonna have a lot of songs. So we'll go back to files, right? I'll make another, we'll make another folder here since we got all our music in music one. Let's make another folder and we'll put our, uh, now we'll put our love song, we'll put romance music in this folder. So we'll create a folder called romance because that's where we're gonna put our love songs. So we double click on it. So now we're in the romance folder. So when we upload music here, these songs are gonna go into this folder. Ah, so we'll pick a few songs here and upload these songs. So now just these songs that are uploading now are just going into the romance folder. They're not going into the music folder. You follow me so far? You can make as many folders as you, as you like. Once you get hundreds of songs, trust me, you get them in folders, it's easier to find them and sort them and put them where you want them. It's much easier later on. So use the folders. You can put them all in one place, but folders is the best way to go. Once they're complete, and you get the message, close it. There's the three songs right there. Hit return. Now again, they're just stored. We haven't assigned them anywhere yet. So now go over to media. Again, go to options, browse by folders. Now you got music and romance. So now let's click on romance. There's our three love songs and again look on the left here now we have a new playlist there's our standard rotation with 15 minutes of music and we have two hours of romance so we'll highlight those three songs and we're going to drag them over there and let go and now we got 11 minutes of music there 15 minutes of music there now, obviously, we have hundreds of songs that will read 20 hours, 100 hours, or what have you. But you, if you click on each one, you can see which songs appear in which playlist. So that standard rotation is going to play all day long. But then 8 o'clock, those will stop playing and the other songs will start playing. Go back to your playlist, you see that one's scheduled. Two hours of romance. It's enabled. If you click on it, you'll see. Starts at 8 p.m. daily. And it plays for two hours. Your standard rotation, that's enabled. That one runs every day from 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. So that one runs 24 hours a day. So you can see, you can get creative, have some fun with it. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, is having some fun and being creative. And you can mix and match and, and overlap playlists to make your own Make it exciting and make it fun for yourself. Now, your auto DJ is playing 24 hours a day. If you want a DJ, or you have a DJ, or you have many DJs, you can create DJs or DJ accounts for them to log in and to DJ. It's simply create a username and a password for them.
This allows them to use Virtual DJ, SAM, Mix, any one of a number of DJ software programs. And when they use these credentials to log in, it, what will happen is when, once they log in, it will, Auto DJ will pause, their stream will become live, they will DJ, play their music, do their show. When they disconnect, Auto DJ will resume and the, the station will continue to play. You have the option to give them powers and privileges to do other things like start and stop the stream and, and manage, the, manage the stream for you. If all they're gonna do is DJ, log in, play music and log out, you don't need to select anything under privileges. You can leave that blank, okay? And the same with the login restrictions on the times. If you if you want to enforce specific times that they're allowed to DJ, you can select the times. If it doesn't matter to you, you can leave that blank as well, as long as they have a username and password. That's fine. Their their real name. That's what's displayed while they're working. That's what's displayed on the screen. And of course, <laughs> your DJ name, your DJ name needs to be more than a couple of characters long. So uh, uh, let me fix that real quick. But the important part to remember is once you've added a DJ or more than one DJ, in order for this account to go live, for them to have the ability to log in and start DJing, what you'll have to do now is, now that they're in and it's saved, you will have to restart the stream. You'll have to restart the server for it to become live. So it's in there and it's saved, but they won't be able to log in and actually DJ until you restart. So once you've made your changes and added a new DJ or changed their password, for example, go ahead and click restart and hit OK. Once you do a restart, as the message says, it disconnects anybody that's listening. So it's always best to add your DJs and make those changes in a quiet time when you don't have a lot of listeners. But the restart takes a quick second. It just does a quick reset and reloads all your settings. Now the stream is back up and running. Your DJ is added and you're good to go. Again, on the left-hand side, you do have a st statistics page with reports where you can take a look at listener data, how long people are listening, and uh, how many listeners, where they're listening from, historical information, this kind of thing, if you're interested. And also on the Quick Links page, along with um, web pages for listening outside of uh, via the internet, there's also uh, links for various different players, uh, for mobile users or you know both uh, Apple and uh, PC users, depending on uh, who's listening and what kind of link, if they're having trouble listening. So that should get you started. And uh, as always, if you think I've uh, done a good job here, please like and subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more content coming, and I do appreciate you guys listening in. So uh, take it easy, and we'll catch you next time. I appreciate it. Take care, guys.